Hi guys, welcome to Miami Muscle once again. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the inner chest, the split cross striation that comes from the side of your chest and go all the way down to the outside, from the inside of your chest all the way down to the outside of your chest. Just like this, when I do that, or when I do that, you can see that cross striation. Or when I turn sideways and I do that. I'm going to be showing you the exercises that you can do that's going to help you improve the inner development from the inside all the way to the outside. Alright guys, like I said earlier, I'm going to show you the exercises that I use to develop my inner chest all the way to the outside so you can get that cross nice striation across your chest. You can do this exercise with various machines. For example, the cables, you can use the cables. Um, today I'm using the dumbbells because I'm at home, um, we don't have any cables here. So I'm doing flat dumbbell flies. So I pick up a dumbbell, you make sure you lay flat on your back, okay, slightly bend your elbows, and then you come out really slow, make sure your elbows and your shoulders are angled the same, same way. And as you're coming up, you want to squeeze your chest first to bring your arms together. You come back really slow, now don't go too far down. Just feel the stretch a little bit on the chest muscle and then you squeeze your chest to bring the weight together. As you guys can see my tempo, I'm going really slow to make sure I'm using my chest to control the load. And as I'm coming up, I make sure I squeeze my chest first and then my arms come together. And what you don't want to do is go too low. Because when you go too low, when you drop your shoulders too low, you might stress your shoulders up too much and might have shoulder injuries if you keep doing it this way. Make sure you keep your angle. Feel like you're hugging a barrel. You're going around that barrel. You don't want to come into a pressed position. You want to maintain that angle of the elbow flex a little bit, elbow bend a little bit, and then come down really slow. And feel a little stretch in your chest, and then you squeeze your chest together. Come up and squeeze at the top. Make sure you guys make sure you don't use too much of a heavy weight because if the weight is too heavy what's going to end up happening is you're going to be using your shoulders too much and you're going to be using your wrist too much and you're going to be putting too much stress in your rear delt or your rotator cuff which in turn can lead, lead to injuries and you're not going to be able to fill your chest choose a reasonable amount of weight and people always ask me what's a reasonable amount of weight if you doing the exercise and you don't feel your chest working, but you feel your shoulder working, or you're feeling a sharp pain around your shoulders, that means the weight is too heavy. Choose a reasonable amount of weight and make sure you control the load from the top to the bottom and squeeze your chest first. You guys can see, I'm squeezing my chest first before my arms come together. I'm going to do that again. My arms are out this way, squeeze my chest first, and then I bring my arms together to get that muscle to react. And you can do this from different angles. You can go from the flat bench. You can do it from the, from the decline bench. And you can also do it from the incline bench. And you can also use cables from the top, the middle, and the bottom. So this is what I do to get my chest split in the middle. As you guys can see, if I do that move, you can see that cross striation coming from the middle to the outside. And I do the other side, you guys can see that cross striation. That's from doing mostly fly exercises, but by doing all the chest exercises as well, when your chest becomes more developed and then you add those fly exercises, those are what I call shaping exercises. The press exercises and the bench, ex and the bench press is what I call the building exercises. The fly exercise is what I call the shaping exercise. So in order for you to get that cross striations around your chest from the inside to the outside, you do need the fly exercises. So make sure you do this the right way and I love the feedback I'm getting back from my videos on YouTube. 
please keep, keep giving me the comments coming back and forth. Ask me any question. Like I always say, if you like my program, you like my exercises, you like this video, please click the thumbs up button below and just like my video and subscribe to my video. And as well, we have a full program of all these exercises. These are just little bit of tidbits of, of video visual that I'm showing you guys on this YouTube channel. But if you really want to get this program of Miami Muscle, make sure you go on Miami Muscle USA. The revolution has started. People are beginning to send in more results, more video testimonial. Join the group, join the, join the future. Miami Muscle is here to take your body to the level that you want to take it to. And once again, I'm going to give you my motivational thoughts for the, for the day, for this video. My motivational thought for you is that those who are willing to take their body so far will find out how far they can go. So the people who are willing to take the risk of, taking to, of going too far will find out how far you can go. So you guys join my group, join the Miami Muscle Revolution and we're going to take your body to the next level.